<laughs> because, uh, as often happens, I was an idealist who thought that back in 2007 when you wrote The Cult of the Amateur, that the, the fall of the gatekeepers, the democratization Web of... Web 2.0, yeah. Web, which would change everything for the better mm. and now here we are sitting with twitter and facebook and fake news and i like off the wagon i well i was uh, thinking about depressed. this and i think what happened was that we just took it for granted and i would include myself in this that we assume that most people were honest and the whole premise of yeah. web 2.0 is that people were honest and they and they wanted to contribute to making the world a better place. And I think that was captured in something like Wikipedia. I've been critical of Wikipedia, but in many ways, critical of Wikipedia, but in many ways, Wikipedia has done a good it's job. It's a shining example. Yeah, I mean, of, of, of smart, responsible people who got together and unselfishly contributed to making the world a better and place. And I think, by the way, that's the vast majority. That's like 90 But what we forgot is that if you have a well-financed, dishonest, a dishonest machine like the troll factories do enormous damage. We've really opened our... But it, 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 in a way, it's the nature of this country that we choose openness. And this, it's... It, I mean, I think going back to our founding, that we, we, in, it, we generally tend toward openness to ideas, to ideas... Uh, there, but, you know, you could bring up a lot of counterexamples, but I think in general, we celebrate individualism, we celebrate freedom, but there's a downside of that, which is there are those out there who would take advantage of it. Hmm.